I like this statement. You can give this email address to whoever you don't trust. This video is sponsored by Delete Me. It's really irritating that you're so often asked to enter your email address to download a PDF or a document or use Wi-Fi or do something. Now you may be okay putting your real email address into a whole bunch of websites, but that can be really annoying and can really affect your privacy. That email address could be used to spam you, that email address could be leaked, and then hackers could try and attack your email box as an example. So one solution is to use what's called disposable email or burner email, just like a burner phone or ghost email. It's also known by names like temp mail, 10 minute mail, throwaway email, fake email, burner mail or trash mail goes by different names. And the idea as we see here on temp mail is many forums, Wi-Fi owners, websites and blogs ask visitors to register before they can view content, post comments or download something. So temp mail helps you avoid spam and stay safe. Here are two examples. We've got Gorilla Mail as well as Temp Mail. So Gorilla Mail says that it's a disposable temporary email address. They tell us that to avoid spam and stay safe, use a disposable email address. And on Temp Mail, we're told to forget about spam, advertising, mailings, hacking, and attacking robots. Keep your real mailbox clean and secure. Temp Mail provides temporary, secure, anonymous, free, disposable email addresses. So if you don't want to give companies your real email address, this is one option. Just be aware that there's no authentication on these email systems. So if someone knows what email it is, they can access your email on some of these applications. They will delete your emails after an hour or two hours, etc. But the whole idea here, back to Gorilla Mail, is that you have a disposable email address. There's no need to register. You simply visit the website and a random address will be given to you. You can also choose your own address. I like this statement. You can give this email address to whoever you don't trust. They also have the option of a scrambled address because since Gorilla Mail doesn't require account registration, anyone who knows the inbox ID may have access to that inbox. So it's best to use a random address and use a scrambled version of that address. The current version of Gorilla Mail keeps all incoming email for one hour. This means that the address will work all the time. The address never expires, but the mail will be deleted after an hour. So going back here, notice you can choose different domains. You could set up your own email. You can scramble your email address and you can receive emails but you can't send emails from Gorilla Mail. So again, if you need to sign up to some website to access a file, or you need to sign up to get access to something, and you don't necessarily trust that website or provider, you can give them a temporary email just so that you can get access. If they send you a link with a code, you'll be able to access the code and then you'll be able to enter it on that website. The whole idea here is this is a disposable temporary email address from Gorilla Mail or Temp Mail. Okay, so there are two examples. We've got Gorilla Mail and Temp Mail. They both allow you to create a temporary disposable email so that you don't have to give your real email address to websites that you don't trust. Another week, another privacy headline. This is a reminder that our personal information is out there. Data brokers and people search websites legally collect and sell details about you, like your name, your current and past home addresses, your phone numbers, even your relatives' information. And this fuels scams, phishing, harassment, and even doxing. I personally use Delete Me because it's hands-free. I don't have the time to go and manually remove my data from the internet. You're more than welcome to do that if you want to. But again, I like Delete Me because it's hands-free. They find my profiles and remove my personal information from hundreds of data broker and people search websites then keep on monitoring those websites so that the data doesn't quietly come back again. In my first privacy report from Delete Me, it showed where my information was listed, on which data broker websites as an example, and then showed what information got removed. Now, Delete Me won't make you 100% anonymous online, but it helps protect you by reducing your exposure to common risks. You can get 20% off Delete Me's consumer plans when you go to joindeleteme.com forward slash Bumble and use the promo code Bumble at checkout or use the QR code on screen. That once again is joindeleteme.com forward slash Bumble and use the code Bumble to get 20% off. Now there are issues using throwaway emails and Proton speaks about this in this 
blog entry, most one-time email services aren't secure, but the alternative is. They mention some of the examples, which I have spoken about already, and then they look at some of the risks of using a one-time email address. There's no authentication and password protection. So if someone knows the address, they can access your email. These are basically public inboxes. There's no encryption or data protection policies. So you don't get into an encryption as an example, and they may be blocked. So some of the domains may be blocked by companies who realize that these are throwaway emails. So another alternative is to use aliases. An alias is a unique alternative email address that forwards email to your main inbox. When you sign up to Proton, you create aliases or get them generated randomly to protect your real email address from being disclosed or leaked. Now, I think that this is for a different scenario. I like the idea of a throwaway email if I just don't care about the website that I'm registering to, but on sites where you want to register with an email that you can access later on, aliases will work. So you don't give them your real email address, you give them an alias. Apple, as an example, allows you to do this. Proton allows you to do this with the email solution. I highly recommend Proton Mail as it's a fully encrypted end-to-end -end email service that, as they say here, in addition to keeping your email messages private, allows you to create email aliases that shield your personal mail address. So the idea here is that you keep your identity private without using a one-time email service. And this is the thing, you don't wanna use your real email address across a whole bunch of websites because you're gonna be spammed, they can try and hack you, et cetera. So from a privacy and cybersecurity point of view, it makes sense to use either throwaway emails or aliases like you get with Proton Mail. Now, there are many differences between say Proton Mail and Gmail, as an example. A lot of people use Gmail. With Gmail, the government can get access to all your email. Google can get access to all your email. Whereas with Proton, as they say here, it's end-to-end -end encrypted. So they cannot even read your email. There have been examples of governments trying to get access to people's email and telling Proton to let them read the emails that have been sent with Proton and Proton basically says they can't because they don't have access to the keys that are required to decrypt the email that's sent with Proton Mail. So I highly recommend Proton Mail, not just because it's encrypted, therefore it can't be read, but also because they give you this option of using aliases to hide your real email address. So it's up to you. I really like the idea of a one-time email address or throwaway email address for certain websites, but I also like the option of using aliases so that my email address is not leaked all over the show. I highly recommend Proton based on the feedback that I've received from cybersecurity experts and also my dealings with Proton. They're very well respected, but what do you use? Do you prefer using something else than Proton Mail? I would avoid Google as an example, avoid Gmail.